Do you want to lose fat without going to the gym? Well, I work with a lot of celebrities, actors, film stars, and common people that walk into my nutrition clinic, where I, as a nutritionist, advise them on the nutrition part. But they always ask me, how do I burn more fat without doing any exercise? Now, here are a few tips. Number one, research has shown that NEAT, non-exercise adaptive thermogenesis, meaning what? When you do cooking, cleaning, mopping, sweeping, or just moving around your house and doing laundry and gardening, the low intensity of that work, your heart rate beats at a level where it utilizes more fat as a source of energy. Imagine your body having two batteries, a carbohydrate battery and a fat battery. Now, when you do high intensity gym exercises, you're burning more of the carbohydrate battery. And fat is like, boss, this is too intense for me. I can't work out with this giving this fuel source. However, when you change the intensity of the workout, drop your intensity, your car battery goes down, but your fat battery begins to increase. Now, this is where you get more substrate utilization from fat as a source of energy, meaning your fat battery kicks in, chances of you burning more fat is there. I would recommend you to do walking because it's a low intensity activity and a sustained duration of beyond 10,000 steps a day will help you burn more than 30 grams of fat a day, 30 grams. Because people are like, I wanna lose one kg in one week. You need to increase the increment of walking to go beyond 30 grams of fat burning a day Below 10,000 steps, you do not cross the 30 grams of fat burning per day. So keep this in mind. Now, how do you do walking? You could do walking in one shot. 10,000 steps is roughly around 10 kilometers of walking, which will take you about one hour, 40 minutes if you're short. And if you're tall, it should take you about one hour, 20 minutes, let's say. Now, who has time to walk for so much? So break it up. Do 15 minutes of walking after your first meal, do 15 minutes of walking after your lunch, do 15 minutes of walking after your dinner. You've got 45 minutes of walking there. Now walk and talk. Whenever you're doing phone calls with your loved ones, business calls, I do meetings with my key strategic team and they're like, okay, sir's on the rampage right now. He wants to do a walking meeting. And we do a 20, 30 minute walking meeting. And before you know it, you've got a lot of steps. The other thing you could also do is get a standing desk. So behind me over here, I have a standing desk as well as a sitting desk. So sometimes some of my online meetings, I will stand up, I'll have my headphones on and I'm like, you know, moving a little bit and stuff like that. So I'm creating movement, which doesn't raise my heart rate so high. And therefore I'm utilizing my fat as a source of energy. My second tip to you is I also advise cold showers on a daily basis because research is showing that the cold receptors activate brown fat in your body which will burn more fat so every day i have a cold shower in the morning the cold receptors are on your face if you don't have patience or the bravery to do cold showers every morning get a nice big salad bowl or a, or a fruit bowl and fill it with ice and dip your head in it and hold it in there and go i blow bubbles okay uh, for about four to ten seconds Maybe if you can go more than 10 seconds, you might get a brain freeze. So be careful. Come out, do a little bit of calm, deep breathing. <sighs> because deep breaths activate the parasympathetic nervous system. So combination of the cold and the st structured breathing. And when you put your face in once, you go in three to five times with small breaks in between of 30 seconds to one minute. This could be a form of um, what I call as a salad bowl plunge. But you could also do a cold plunge once every 10 days or maybe twice a month wherein you immerse yourself into a nice bathtub filled with ice and it need not be too cold maybe just a 2 kg bag of ice with cold water in that bathtub should get you to the levels you start shivering and stuff like that so that should help you um, set yourself on a pathway. Also, if you have inflammation because you're working out, walking so much, uh, it helps your body heal faster, making you feel like a million bucks and rejuvenated. The third point, in addition to all of this, is take up a sport or play with your kids. That's very important. Like I did karate when I was very young. I've taken up karate back again. I've moved it to do three times a week of karate. If you did yoga, yoga is amazing. The resting heart rate is low, so it burns fat. Even weight training with incremented rest in between. 
heavier weights but lesser repetitions would allow your heart rate to be in that zone where you've taken it up as a sport. So when you look at getting to burn fat, you want to be physically moving and it could be in a sport that you love. Final point, work with your physiotherapist or biomechanics expert. As you grow older, you will lose muscle. Muscle is the singular fat burning machine. It is the secret fat burning machine. When your muscle gets older, it gets weaker. So develop the necessary awareness on which muscles in your body need to be loaded and which muscles need to be flexible. This will enable you to have better balances when you're doing the sport or walking on a daily basis. Above all, I always tell people, control your taste buds because that is the chief temptress in your body that's causing you to gain fat. Do a blood test once or twice every year and look for the markers that are causing you to put on weight, chiefly fat. Those could be vitamin D, vitamin B12, the vitamin B complexes. Look at lipoprotein A, lipoprotein B and all the lipid or cholesterol markers. These are clear indications that your diet as well as your liver is producing more amount of fatty acids and that also could have a detrimental effect on your health. Above all, eat clean, stay organic as much as possible. Breathe deeply. That's very, very important and enjoy life. You have only one body. It's the most expensive real estate you'll ever own.